All right, what's up, everybody? We are. I'm going to do just a quick one on exponential from two points. This is a level two problem, which makes it a little bit tougher than the level ones because the hardest thing with exponentials, you know, they all kind of follow this same format of y equals a b to the x power. So if they all follow this format of y equals a b to the x power, really we're just looking for what is a. Right? What is B? And if we can find A and B, we got the equation, okay? And if we have the equation, we can easily find this one. Now, the catch on this one, the thing that makes this really difficult, uh, in other examples, in the level one problems, they're going to give you A. Now, they might not tell you it's A, but they'll say things like F of zero equals 12 or whatever it is. And so they don't give that to us here. They don't give us the starting value, which makes this a lot more complicated. But we've, I got a workaround that makes this very easy, okay? So to make this much easier, and Delta Math won't show you this, this is why I'm making a help video for you right now. Uh, to make this a lot easier, what I can do is pretend for a minute, okay? So we're gonna use our imaginations. Right now it's saying F of negative 1.5. In other words, oops, if I plug in a negative 1.5, my output will be 27, okay? It also tells me that F of seven, I plug in seven, it's gonna kick out an 83, all right? And then it's gonna ask me what is F of negative 0.5. We don't know that, that's what we're gonna try to solve. All right, so here's the shortcut here on this one. This makes it a lot easier and I think it's better in a lot of ways. So in the example we did in class, uh, should I pull that up? I'll pull it up real quick. In the example we did in class, um, we talked about, um, where is it? There it is. We talked about the census. And we said, hey, the year 1990 is this amount here. But what we could do is we sort of, we didn't say that F of 1990 is 248.7. Uh, we just said, hey, let's let this equal zero. Let's, let's let 1990 be year zero or the starting place and then we'll do everything based on that. In the same way, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to, instead of using negative, in this case negative 1.5, let's adjust it to be year zero. What would that mean? That means all of these could be adjusted so that F of, not negative 1.5, let's go up, let's add 1.5, and now this would be f of zero equals 27. So we're just adjusting the x values. And if we do them all relatively the same, then it's gonna work out fine. So let's add 1.7 to, uh, 1.5 to seven. So this is f of 8.5 equals 83. And it's gonna create a different exponential, but it's gonna help you so solve this one. Now let's add 1.5 to negative 1.5 and a negative 0.5, and this is just gonna be f of one. Okay, so you got, I hope you understand. I just, all I did was I adjusted my three x values. I converted them all by adding 1.5 to each one. And by doing that, I'm gonna be able to get my, my key is to get this value here, which is my zero, which gives me the a. So now let's go back to our problem. We now know what A is, isn't that great? Didn't have to do any work. Now Delta Math has a more convoluted process that makes this a lot harder. This is really simple. So I've got A is 27, so let's write that down. Y, let's use a thicker pen here. This is Y equals, and this is going to be 27 B to the X power, okay? Now our goal is gonna be to find what B is. Where are you gonna find B? Well, B is gonna come from using the X and Y that go together. That's the second value they gave us. So notice how they gave us the second one down here. That's gonna come into play now. I'm gonna use the X and Y that go together. So 27 B to the X power. Well, that's 8.5 in the second point case. So this is 8.5 equals my Y value, which is my output. That's 83, okay? All right, this is solvable. We're gonna simply divide by 27 Okay, and let's see what that is. 83 divided by 27, and I got 3.074. I'm gonna leave that entire decimal on the calculator. Might be 
an easier way to go. And I got 8.5. Now, how do you get rid of 8.5? Well, we learned in class that you can just raise this to the 1 over 8.5 power. And look at this clean up. It's going to clean up really nicely. So let's do uh, this value raised to the 1 over 8.5 power. And I got 1.1412. Okay, again, just leave the decimal there. You might use it later. And this is equal to B. Now that you have, look, I've got 27 for A. I've got 1.1412 for B. We're pretty much done. Okay, all we have to do is find what F of 1 is and just by plugging that in. So let's do that last step here. So Y equals, and this is going to be 27 is the A value. My B value is 1.1412. And I'm going to raise it to the, let's see what value we want, the 1. Okay, so I'm going to put, for X, I'm going to put 1. And let's see what the output would be. Well, that's really easy because 1 makes it really simple. But yours probably won't say that. So 27 times, and I'm just going to pull in that. You can hit second answer is a good way to do that. Pull up that last answer I had and raise it to whatever power. In this case, it's 1, so I don't even have to do anything. And I get 30.8, and that's my output. Okay, so hopefully that helps you. Let's re recap it real quick. Again, when you don't have f of 0, you don't have a. By adding 1.5 to each x value, you just adjust everything around here. Now you can find it because you can find A very easily. Once you find A, go ahead and pick the other value, X and Y, to figure out what B is, and then you're good to go and plug in the value. Okay, so hopefully that cleared up some things for you, made it a little simpler. Uh, it's a lot harder to do it the Delta Math way, so hopefully this gave you a little boost. Thanks for tuning in.